Hi everyone, today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this Sum 37 Milk and Rose Cleansing Stick. This is a low pH cleanser with a pH standing at 5.5. The theory behind low pH products is that they protect the acid mantle or the moisture barrier found on top of the skin, which also has the added benefit of reducing breakouts of acne. Sum 37 is definitely more of a high end brand. This product retails for $27 for about 80 grams. However, you can definitely find discounted versions online, so keep a lookout. As you can see from me testing the product, it instantly lathers up. By massaging your face afterwards, it removes all your makeup. Since using this product, it really does remove makeup well, and you can incorporate this product as a first or second step cleanser. This product has a very strong rose scent, which I like. It also contains tiny fermented rose pieces that are supposed to act as a gentle exfoliant. I'm not convinced the roses do much by way of an exfoliant, but as a cleanser, it is very effective. My one big issue with the cleanser is that despite it leaving the skin feeling clean, it leaves the skin feeling dry. With this experience, I would advise those with dry skin should avoid this product. This product is suited to those with oily to combination skin. Also, if you are sensitive to fragrant products, you might want to avoid this cleanser. According to Cause DNA, linked below, there are a few ingredients in this formula that can trigger acne. In particular, coconut oil and lanic acid has been rated 4 out of 5 as potential acne triggers. Most people won't experience any issues, as these ingredients are, ironically, beneficial to treat acne. But, there are a small number of people who may experience breakouts from this product. My advice for those who are acne prone would be to look at the ingredients listed to see if you have any skin sensitivities. In terms of the packaging, I like the fact that it's travel friendly. However, my one issue is that after using the product, it can get a bit messy and you have to dry off the product with a tissue. Overall, I really like this product as it is an effective cleanser. However, I won't be purchasing this product again due to the drying effect it has on my skin. Due to this and the packaging, I rate this product 3.5 out of 5 stars. I think it is definitely worth a try if you don't have dry or acne prone skin. I hope this review was helpful. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more makeup reviews.